This exhibition and uh, theme is a uh, transformation, and for you, Sana, uh, what means transformation? Transformation for me is really about um, understanding that change is constant and appreciating it, but also respecting it. It's very much about resilience and um, also the ability to um, learn and grow. I think I gravitate towards work which has that sentiment which, uh, which is often about transformation of material, transformation of thought, which, is, um, which has this humility also about it. I think in the work that I did in the ex exhibition here, uh, the emphasis of the work was really about um, a lack of ownership, uh, an impermanence, um, something that will uh, that it, that was not very expensive to make, but also involved a lot of um, labor. But at the same time, you know, it, it was on inexpensive paper and celebrated the the act of being here, the act of assemblage, the act of like working with others, and then um, also the fact that once it's over, it's over. Uh, there there is no. Um, um, significance or importance in, you know, in terms of like uh, the, the, uh, the work itself, it, it was about the experience. So um, there, 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 is, uh, there is transformation in that process. Um, a lot of my work is made up of process and layers and um, it's always changing and um, as an artist also, I think uh, I often will revisit old work and am not afraid to alter it or change it. And um, I enjoy that sort of transgression. Um, it, it allows me to um, be able to um, accommodate new growth and new ideas, as well as um, entertain different opinions and alterations. So um, I was very appreciative to be part of this exhibition which, which um, explores transformation in many ways, not just in the formal sense of, of making of the work, but conceptually in, in a variety of ways. And I thought that every artist in the, in the exhibition added something completely um, independent and about their own process, but also very, like a wide range and, variety of exploration of, of this um, topic, which, uh, which I think at some level everybody addresses, Every, all artists in their practice are engaged with the idea of transformation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And also, and, uh, I very much interested in to see and uh, kind of relations and interrelations in uh, videos and animation work and also the drawings, so if you explain something about the relations yeah, to new York pieces, also the um, drawings and the prompt. I, uh, f drawing is really fundamental to my practice. I, um, I draw out of memory, I draw out of, um, uh, out of a relationship with the material, how ink sits on paper, how, how different um, um, mark making can actually um, <laughs> give birth to various forms. So, so this back and forth with like, um, with this ritual, it's almost like a sketchbook or a journal or um, uh, the practice itself allows to really employ a lot of different forms. And then there's a lot of editing and some drawings work and some don't. But the ones that work, I would then archive them or save them and then evolve them further. And in that process, um, many layers of, um, of detail, layers of almost embellishment uh, get added on and this process of working in layers allow, allows me to then make you know, observations born out of everyday um, um, uh, understanding of geopolitics, social uh, systems like uh, working with other artists, um, how as an artist myself, I'm always negotiating different cultures, different um, 
um, under different relationships to those cultures. It's like this constant uh, negotiation of place mm -hmm. and time and then formally being involved with um, understanding and deconstructing miniature painting for years, mm -hmm. how bringing a layer of that in the work without making it very contrived. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's like an assemblage of all these various ideas, mm -hmm. but I think the process of working in layers allows me to assemble this and, mm -hmm. and the installation here in the exhibition also literally is in, in layers of drawings that, that, that kind of mirror the layers in the animations. And the sense of narrative comes from that accumulation. There is mm -hmm. no linear narrative as such. Mm -hmm. It's always implied. And in the implication, there is a open-endedness where you know people will gravitate, perhaps, in mm -hmm. and most likely to the very detailed mm -hmm. nature of the work, but without becoming illustrative. Mm -hmm. The work is suggestive of, mm -hmm. of of a variety of narratives, but it always kind of gives an open um, sense of, um, of 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 a of a narrative or a particular meaning in the symbolism mm -hmm. and a lot of the symbolism in the work is not uh, it references historical mm -hmm. miniature painting but in a very open way again it might reference it in the way that it's stylized mm -hmm. and drawn and perhaps a color palette but nothing beyond that so it's almost an illu illusion that it is related to a certain um, precision and a way of, of making work but but it's in the it's a playfulness with it it's a flirtation with it it does not need a, a background understanding or knowledge of that genre for you to experience the work and I, I think that's the struggle that I always have is how to make something compelling without necessarily dragging the entire history or baggage of, of, of where you know mm -hmm. I started and animations have also allowed me to um, bring sound into the work mm -hmm. and I think sound becomes a very important navigation tool and also recent collaboration with some artists in particular during Chinese um, experimental young artists that I've worked with has really um, opened up you know a different mm -hmm. audience for the work too and um, I often will make drawings for the animation and in the process will come across new forms that will then inform you know um, the small drawings also so shift in scale allows mm -hmm. to develop the work it's a very deliberate way of working small and large simultaneously also working um, in, a, in animation um, gives this immediacy to the work you know the work um, can be less precious and it can it can be shown in multiple locations and at, at, a, at a very large scale as well. So um, again I think uh, the ability to show a variety of work in this exhibition uh, I was very appreciative of that because mm -hmm. um, this way I think I was able to show the process of the work as well as um, some of the older works, as well as some of the new works, and, and how everything is interlinked. So the second question is, and, uh, uh, what do you say about uh, your second life after you this, the, 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 your life, and uh, what do you want to be if you have a second life? I have never really thought about a second life, but since you posed this question, I think um, I love flight I like the idea of of, um, of flying so I would I would say you know a second life I'd entertain being a bird <laughs> the last question is and uh, this exhibition meant me and uh, some statement new proposal so under this and uh, political social economical climate uh, everything and uh, dramatically changing and people losing their kind of states and how is it going to be what the humanity is and uh, so and through this exhibition or through your work and is there any message to the audiences well you know the the work for me making work is really about uh, being sensitive and aware of what is happening around 
not just in the immediate community, but you know, in in for instance, living in New York, uh, you know, one is acutely aware of what is happening in Pakistan, and I traveled there and lived there also. So, so, so the geopolitical um, back and forth, the constant like change, political change in in Pakistan, and how uh, what is perceived versus what is represented, it's a it's always a crisis and um, that it's impossible not to be affected by it and not to have one's work you know um, engage that and I've always you know gravitated towards it but as a as as an artist with a particular formal language it it, it is again something that you uh, you own that 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 is a, a, a constant like uh, negotiation because the language is, is, is a one way and then as an artist, you know, um, you can point to a certain things, but in terms of really uh, making a, 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 a kind of a social change happens over time and over perhaps um, a coming together of many people, many ideas. And um, I, uh, I think that when you see a group as a collective, a direction like this show perhaps addresses, you know, there's a collective group here of people, uh, lo lots of different ideas and that have informed the exhibition, and then it is important that an audience comes in and um, it comes in with an open idea, with an openness to really look and understand their own ability to play a part in this world and how they can actually, what they are doing to create a transformation in, in, in their particular context. And I think um, this show allows that. It gives a, rip, a large range of, uh, of, of grasping what transformation is. Mm -hmm. And, and when, when you bring a wide range of audience, open it up to a wide range of audience, they, they will, I think, at the, uh, will gather a lot of different ideas which they will carry with them and live with them and perhaps revisit those ideas and find like an appropriate relationship to how they themselves are uh, responsible and become aware of their um, ability to, to change and alter and grow and transform. And I think uh, a topic like this is obviously very relevant mm -hmm. uh, to, to us has always been relevant, but in particular to, to I think, coming f especially from New York right now, where I've always felt like there's so much happening in Asia mm -hmm. amongst the Asian countries. There's mm -hmm. a very interesting a, a dialogue that happens, which is very complex and which is not necessarily um, a parallel to, to a Western mm -hmm. um, construct. And participating in that and becoming more um, you know engaged in that is really very exciting I also recently met many young artists in Shanghai also which, who were asking me that is it important for them to go to the US or to go abroad for further education and how they, they whether it is or not and how they feel that it is perhaps no longer that important so I think there is a change occurring in general where people are much much more involved in their local mm -hmm. situations mm -hmm. and without finding that it will make them provincial or regional mm -hmm. but that type of responsibility uh, to you know to to your practice to your immediate community uh, it's very refreshing it's very exciting mm -hmm. at an intellectual level also and that's perhaps is is a you know and I, one needs to congratulate a topic of an exhibition mm -hmm. that um, tries to be, you know, that, that has this ambition to embrace this idea that all of us are at the brink of, of a major change mm -hmm. and as we experience it, you know, a cul culturally also this change is very relevant. It mirrors what is happening to the practice in the art world and how the art world has opened up and changed and altered. Mm -hmm. and, and is many people are participating in the art world that are that that have this um, um, that 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 are not just challenging uh, strong um, um, 
prevailing notions, but are actually successful in creating a dialogue. So I think mm -hmm. this type of openness and fragmentation at the same time mm -hmm. is, uh, is a good time. You know? mm -hmm. So I find that it's a positivity within a fairly mm -hmm. economically, uh, it's, a, it's, it's not very sound and, you know, in terms of other political changes, the world is really, everything seems to be heightened and much, much more, everybody is at, at a brink of like, you know, a confrontational approach to many things and mm -hmm. whether it's a religious um, um, turbulence or whether it's uh, uh, um, happening at a, culturally but fed through an economic power structure but in terms of art, I think there is always the ability to be positive, mm -hmm. the ability to harness all of those various elements and kind of open up the doors for discussion and, and reflection. Mm 